The second assassination attempt on former President Trump prompts Senator Tom Tillis to introduce legislation for higher security for all of the presidential candidates. That includes vice presidential candidate Governor Tim Walz, who visits Asheville on Tuesday. News 13's Madison Smith reached out to local, state, and federal law enforcement about security preparations here. On Sunday, it was reported the former president Donald Trump was safe after gunshots rang out near his golfing location in Florida. The FBI now calling it an apparent assassination attempt, and it's not the first one. Speaking with a political analyst, he says while political tensions, hateful rhetoric and political violence are rising, it is important to not add to it by drawing unnecessary conclusions. I think it's important that we draw a distinction and try not to draw too many patterns from the behavior of now two clearly deranged, clearly disturbed um, individuals. Opposing views on politics are commonplace during election cycles, but political violence is not. There are clearly some people who are not understanding that the point of politics is to have conflict and avoid violence, not to lean into it. These fears are hitting home with the arrival of vice presidential candidate Tim Walz to Asheville this week and the push for heightened security. Security is going to have to matter. That's going to change the kinds of venues where people are, are um, uh, giving rallies. And I think it's also going to mean that we're less likely to know where they're going to show up until the last minute. That notion rings true for Tuesday's event with Governor Walls. Though this event is already at capacity and preparations are presumably underway, it has still not been confirmed where the rally will be taking place. A lot of reasons for that. I think part of that is security. You don't want to give bad actors too much information too much time ahead. We reached out to APD, North Carolina Highway Patrol, and the U.S. Secret Service about their potential heightened security plans. They are keeping those plans close to their chest. You can take a look at all the statements we received on your screen now. Now, the Harris Walls campaign did announce that they were coming to Asheville before the assassination attempt and did not release any details about their location then. It is now possible that we will not know until the day of. And we will keep you up to date as we learn more about the event in Asheville. I'm Madison Smith, News 13.